I'm going to jump to this next story, which involves a Catholic church in Florida. Um, I'm going to tell you, this story involves a woman who is apparently unfamiliar with some of the beliefs of the Catholic church. And, and I think a lot of people are ignorant about a lot of religious beliefs. I'm not holding that against her. But basically, let me tell you who I'm talking about here. The woman's name is Katie Ray, and she is someone who lives in a community in Florida. She does a lot of motivational speaking, a lot of life coaching. Uh, she wants to inspire you to be your best self, like eat, pray, love. What is it? Love, laugh, live, all whatever. It's all that stuff. It's not for me. I kind of roll my eyes when I hear that sort of stuff, but whatever. Good for her. I'm glad she has her thing I'm glad she's passionate about it. It's hardly a thing to be upset about. So she's hosting, apparently, a big conference next January. It's called Celebrate You. And she decided, like last year, she wanted to rent out a gymnasium that was uh, owned by a Catholic church in the area. The Our Lady of Lords Catholic Church in uh, Dunedin. I don't know how to pronounce the city's name. But she rented out the space. She signed the paperwork. She gave them a down payment. Everything was fine. And why wouldn't it be? It's a secular event. But like if the church is renting out space, I don't think that would be a... It's not like they're renting it out to me. They're renting it out to some lady who wants to do motivational speaking. It's fine. But what happened is that like a week or two after she had given them the money for the down payment and started promoting her event and selling tickets... The church called her back and said they cannot accommodate her request and they returned the money. Why? Because they looked her up on social media and saw that she had been spending a lot of time promoting and talking about in vitro fertilization. Basically, this lady's story is that she was struggling to get pregnant, couldn't do it, and it was only through in vitro fertilization that she was allowed, able to use science and have a fertilized baby with her husband, and she now has three kids. And so she talks and, and boosts IVF all the time on social media. And so she, I'm going to show you a press release. She's very internet savvy. She's very publicity savvy. She actually issued a press release. Um, let me share this with you because there's a part in here. This is her and her family, Katie Ray and her family. And she says in here at one point, she was taken aback when the church canceled her thing. I was taken aback because my children <clears throat> were a beautiful collaboration between God, science, and the universe. And every day I look at them, my kids, I am so grateful they are with me. This specific annual event was created with the passion I have for everyone to embrace who they are and not compare or judge each other on their journeys. I was shocked that I could be kicked out of somewhere for deciding I wanted to fight to have children and utilize resources around me. So good for her. So like I said, that's Katie Ray. <clears throat> that's what she was promoting. She was shocked that they were against IVF. But just to, if in case you're wondering, why does the church not like in vitro fertilization? They basically, the Catholic church only supports pregnancies that involve one man, one woman, one bed, missionary style, no assistance, never any condoms, never any birth control. Like there's only one way to have sex and it's the way priests imagine it would go or something like that. And by the way, if you ever go to a Catholic hospital, they take this stuff seriously too. They will not help any women with infertility. They actually oppose any technique that to achieve conception just by using like, any other donors. They don't do sperm donation. They don't allow surrogates. They don't allow in vitro fertilization. And they say it's because it might involve the destruction of an embryo. And they say these things are all contrary to the covenant of marriage, the unity of the spouses, and the dignity proper to parents and the child. Which is, again, I, I would say that's weird. I, I get where they're trying to go when it comes to gay couples adopting a child or something, it's like, it's not your kid. That's not what God wants. Like, they're wrong and they're bigots. But I get the logic that they have. But in this case, in vitro fertilization, this is the lady and the husband, like, creating new life 
which I heard is what the Catholic Church likes, but they're just doing it outside her body because she's infertile. And like, that seems like a wonderful mix of science and religion, if you like children or whatever. She has had three kids. She talks about it all the time. Then you get to the point that why is the church looking her up on social media, finding out this stuff about her, and then punishing her for it? To be clear, they have the legal right to do it. This is private space owned by the church. They could say, you're brown. We don't like you, so we're not going to rent space to you. They have the legal right to do these sort of things if it follows their religious, you know, strongly held religious beliefs. But here's a question I would like to know the answer to. Like, have, do they do this with other people? If I rented space from them for a secular event, not an atheist event, but just I want to celebrate my high school basketball team or something, would they look me up and say, well, we see you've posted some stuff on atheism. Or would they say, eh, you don't seem like a problem. We don't need to do anything with you. What about people who have had abortions or paid for abortions, but didn't brag about it online? What about people who support same-sex marriage, which the Catholic Church opposes? What about people who say, yeah, trans people are real and I support them, which the Catholic Church opposes? If you don't openly talk about this stuff on social media or something, then the Catholic Church wouldn't know your position on it. But then it sounds like they'd be fine renting to you if you had an abortion and were in a same-sex relationship, but you didn't talk about it. And that seems hypocritical. The only reason they knew this lady had used IVF is because they stalked her online and found her social media posts, even though she wasn't holding an event promoting IVF. That's just it's just a thing in her life and who she is. One thing I also found amusing is that a local uh, news outlet, like I said, Katie Ray is very savvy. She sent out a press release. She contacted local news media and one channel covered her story and they actually included this picture outside the church. Uh, and I want you to just take a look at the line at the very bottom of that sign at Our Lady of Lords Church. All are welcome. And I love that they included that because there's no asterisk. And it shows you just how hypocritical this church, this church is, right? Um, everyone is not welcome. They just kicked out this lady for doing whatever. Like, they don't look into the marital records of people to see if they've been divorced. They punished her for holding a position that goes against Catholic doctrine. But again, you know who else goes against Catholic doctrine? Pretty much everyone in the pews on a given Sunday. Just to throw out some numbers here, 61% of Catholics in the United States support marriage equality. The Vatican doesn't. 61% of U.S. Catholics do. 76% say society should be accepting of homosexuality. 37% of U.S. Catholics acknowledge the existence of trans people. I know that's a low number, but it's still 37% higher than the Vatican wants it to be. But the Catholic Church won't kick out people for not agreeing to Catholic beliefs unless you're just kind of flaunting it because they're hypocrites. They don't actually care. And in this case, the lady didn't even bring it to their attention. She wasn't protesting outside the church. She wasn't saying the Catholic church needs to change its position. They just found her online, stalked her social media posts, and then used it against her. Um, and listen, none of that's going to change unless decent Catholics who are in the church decide to walk away and stop giving the church its time and money. But a lot of Catholics don't have the courage or ability to do that. Um, to, and in case you're wondering, Katie Ray is not going to file a lawsuit. She knows she would lose. Catholic Church has a right to do this. She acknowledges that. She did find another space to hold her event, so she's taken care of. Um, I, I just think it's what I appreciate about her and uh, this story is that she is trying to raise awareness of this problem. She wants people to know about it because it's effed up in her mind, and she wants everyone else to know that too. And maybe they'll come to their senses as well. I did, I, I one last thing about Katie Ray. She said in another interview, she actually has uh, a gay father, which she just finds interesting in the scope of this religion thing. And she also said she no longer goes to any church. I don't know if she's an atheist, but she says she doesn't go to church anymore largely because so many of them discriminate instead of judging people for who they are.
So kudos to her. I hope her event goes well. And uh, thanks for highlighting the hypocrisy and cruelty of the Catholic Church. We can all do it. She did it very well.